here at Guanella Pass, and today we're going to be hiking Mount Beersad for a full trail guide on this 14er. You can check the link in the description below. Some of you may be wondering, why the hell are you doing this mountain? The answer is, I just want to. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done the standard route, probably about six, seven years. And I'm going to try to give you some tips today on how to hit this with as little crowds as possible. So we're here on a weekday after work, which I know not everybody can do, but the parking lot was almost empty. And I have a strong feeling that we will be one of maybe a handful of people on the summit. So that's the first tip to hike this thing with few crowds is a weekday. Uh, this is a fall day, as you can tell by everything dying in my B-roll shots on the way here. And that's another good tip because you can have, generally speaking, good weather later into the day. So we'll be topping out this mountain probably before sunset, but on the way down, we'll be hitting sunset. And uh, yeah, we have a clear green window of weather. This hike is about seven and a half miles with 2,500 feet of gain. It's definitely one of the easier 14ers and without a doubt, one of the most popular. If you're watching this video, there is a high chance you're probably new to my channel, new to 14ers. Welcome to both. Check out some resources I have on my website and I'll link them in the description on how to pack for a 14er, uh, just general tips on hiking them. Mount Beerset, as I said, is one of the easier ones. And that doesn't mean it's an easy mountain. Depending on where you're from, depending on your hiking experience, it could definitely be a difficult day. And the conditions will also have a big, big deal on how your day goes. Today, we're in the fall. There's no snow up there. It's dry as a bone. I can see all the way to the summit. And so it should be a quite leisurely day for me. Obviously you have Aria today with the horrible shadow here, but this is a dog friendly hike as well. But I wouldn't consider this a dog friendly hike for every dog. I would prefer if your dog has some high elevation experience before coming up to 14K because dogs can get just as much altitude sickness as humans can and they show it far, far more difficultly. There's this notion of like, if you're gonna hike a 14 er or any high mountain in Colorado, you have to start at like 2 a.m., summit at sunrise. That's just not true at all. Obviously, if I'm hiking today, I looked into the weather, made sure I'm good to go there, made sure the temperature is good so I have enough layers, and of course, I have a headlamp for the inevitable darkness that will come. But Hiking these mountains, especially one as popular as Beer Set in the afternoon, is a fantastic way to have less crowds, have it uh, more to yourself, just have a better overall experience, and um, it's still very safe as long as you're prepared. So obviously this doesn't apply to all year round, but it's definitely a myth that you have to be starting pre-dawn to summit a 14er. That creek crossing can be quite difficult in the spring and early summer when the water is higher, but later in the year you get, as you can see, it's a cakewalk. About a mile and a half in, so I don't know, halfway up. No elevation gain really for this first bit, and then it all kind of comes at you in the next couple miles. Obviously, I hope everybody watching this video knows what leave no trace is, but in simple, it means pretend like you're gonna leave this mountain and no one would know you're there. So that means picking up trash, picking up after your dog, don't cutting off the trail. And speaking of dogs, this entire area is a wilderness area. So technically you're really supposed to have your dogs on a leash. All the drone shots I took beforehand were outside of the wilderness area. Leaving 
beautiful scene here and the first climb behind you parked like right over there it's hard to see on this camera maybe if you have a big tv next up you can kind of see maybe false summit there so generally speaking up the hump awesome look at the sawtooth for those of you who aren't aware it is a ridge class three that connects Beerstadt here to Evans over there. Really fun one for those looking to get into scrambling. I'll link that video here as well. As you enter this kind of rocky section here, you're officially above 13,000 feet, 131 for me. How does it feel to breathe? Probably a little harder. Yeah, now's a good time to talk about weather. Obviously, I'm good, but should you have weather moving in, this is a good spot to turn around because the entire way to the summit here is gonna be exposed and there is no reprieve from a storm if it does roll in. That climb is done. This is not the true summit, so don't get excited. This is a false summit, and then you got a couple hundred feet to the real one. It's gonna be a little early for sunset, but that's okay. Only one other person up here right now, which is basically a miracle if you come here pretty much any other time. This route is class two, which means that pretty much anybody and any dog can do it. No scrambling. In the full guide, I'll link everything you need to know about this hike where to camp, what class two means, the distance, my GPX file, all that fun stuff. For now, enjoy the views down into Mount Evans Wilderness. As you get up towards the top here, there are a lot of social trails, meaning it's not the real trail. The real trail is kind of hard to find, but stay as middle as possible. Over to the right, it's kind of a cliff, especially with the cornice in the earlier months. And then over to the left is just kind of too much loose stuff that you don't need. So stay as middle as possible. Top of Mount Beerset for, I don't know, fourth, fifth time. Lovely hike up here today. Lovely weather. There's no wind. It is like maybe 45, 50 degrees. Perfect. And boy, the views are great. I'll show you a closer look at all the shadows in this beautiful valley right now. Aria, how many 14ers is this for you? You don't know how to talk. This is her second. She did a very good girl. No, don't look at the camera. Well, thank you very much. You did good. We're just kind of up here vibing right now. So to the summit, 3.7 miles, 2,500 feet of gain. And it's probably one of the best days I've ever had on top of a mountain in terms of weather. There's like a just beautiful sunset coming, I hope. And we'll catch that on the way down. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I don't typically do the way down if it's the same way as the way up. So if there's a beautiful sunset, I'll pipe it in here. Otherwise, uh, this will wrap up the video. If you want to help support the channel, I have a Patreon, which will give you trip planning access. Ask me any questions you want. 
I have virtual Sherpa gear as well, or you can just make a donation. All of that's linked on my website. For a full guide on this hike, at aka A to Z, everything you need to know about Mount Bierstadt, the standard route, you can check the link below. Again, to talk about some kind of tips and tricks for having the summit to yourself, I would say get here on an afternoon, try to align it with a sun set. Um, if you can do a weekday, that's great. Even on weekends though, I'm sure that you can start later in the day and have a lot less people on this trail. So yeah, tons of options up here if you wanna do different routes, but for those of you looking for the first one, be proud of yourself if you got up here. This is a tough hike. I'm definitely not one of those people to uh, shame or I'm definitely not an elitist when it comes to hiking. So enjoy your accomplishment and hope this video helps you get up to Mount Bierstadt. As always, thank you so much for watching. And on behalf of Aria, who is licking snow, which will likely give her Giardia and myself, we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Would, would you look at that? I think it's a mom and a baby. So beautiful.